So I thought I'd make a video today, basically talking about sexism and racism being both ways. There's a lot of people that think that they can't be. Like, nobody can... There's people out there that think that nobody can be sexist or racist to white men. Apparently that's not possible. Because, apparently in these people's heads, sexism and racism are the same thing as oppression. And you cannot have sexism or racism without oppression. Now, I'd like to take them back and show them why white people have had oppression over anybody. The thing is, they've had power. They've had money. They've had this power. I mean, it's historical that a bunch of white people have been in charge of a lot of shit in the past. The thing is, racism and sexism can be with anybody. Oppression can only be with somebody who has power over you. I mean, to be oppressed oppressive to people, you have to you'd have to like make laws against them. You'd have to be a boss that wouldn't let a certain group of people or anybody join a job because you're being oppressive towards them. Now you can have sexism and racism without that. Like the sexist or racist term that all men are sexist and racist. All white men are sexist and racist. That is a racial t that is a racist term because I'm not. I like so I, I I'm gender blind and race blind. I don't see genders, I don't see race, I see people. And what people don't understand is that they're, like, if, even if I was sexist or racist, I would never, I, I couldn't be oppressive to those people. And I wouldn't be oppressive to those people, even if I was sexist and racist. I mean, I'm not going to force somebody to not be able to do something. I'm not going to force somebody's rights away. Which is what oppression is. Because I can't do it. I mean, this is the only problem I have with some feminists. Is they think that sexism and racism can't go the other way. You, they apparently can't. If an African American man is racist towards a white man, that's not called racism, apparently. If women are sexist towards men, it's not called sexism, apparently. This is what I've been hearing. And it's been dwelling on my mind. And even the people that, even the, like, femi some feminists that I have talked to, again, not all, and so, like, just people that I've talked to, when I bring up this point, they get angry. They get so angry at this point. It's like they're really defending the fact that oppression has to be there for it to be sexism or racism. Which, that is bullshit. I mean, like, they say, oh, you... You can't have racism, you can't have sexism because you've been opp you haven't been oppressed your entire life. You haven't been oppressed. You're held up to this high standard. Okay, there's a difference between white male like I don't know what what is the word I'm looking for? When they say like white privilege or male privilege. There's a difference like apparently having that means that all this hate shouldn't affect you because you have that. Because the because society's fucked up and it makes you have that. So therefore, hate doesn't fucking hurt you, apparently. 
sexist and racist remarks don't hurt your feelings because you happen to be white and a male. It doesn't make any sense. That's all I had to say. And the reason why I'm kind of turned like this is because I'm having a bad face day. This is why I've been making YouTube videos because over here is just... Ugh. So I got you on my good side. It's actually my right side this week. Wait.